Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team, as most of you probably know now, at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. We're in Hilton, Derbyshire, and today I want to show you around this beauty. Just look at that for a pretty VW. Um, it's a 2021 plate, as you can very well see, um, and it's a DSG start line. Um, start line is obviously where it sits in the VW range, if you don't know, um, and the DSG is an automatic gearbox. This has been fitted with a business pack, so it's got a few more whistles and bells. One of those is an alarm fitted. So as you look down the side, it's got the amazing alloy wheels. It's a short wheelbase vehicle, which is great for getting into supermarket car parks. This here is a flue, so when we go inside, we'll see that it's actually got diesel heat in. This is the point where you'd put your water in. So you just get a hose pipe and put the water into the onboard tank. And this is where you connect your mains electricity. As we go around to the back of the V-dub, we'll see these little bits here. Obvious to some people, but not everybody. They are your reversing sensors. It's got a rear windscreen wiper and a heated window, which is unusual. That's the business pack. So these are the benefits and the features you've got. And it's got the tailgate. Inside here, if we take a look, you'll see that we've actually got the fuse switches. This has actually got a solar panel on. You've probably read that in Wendy's description. Inside this box here is where the leisure battery actually is. And you've got your master switches. And this is your regulator for that solar panel. Your gas bottle goes in there, and it's a 9.7 camping gas that you require. This area under here is excellent for storage, but it's brilliant if you do buy the portaloo, because it will fit in there, obviously, for storage. So, well done, Wendy. Forgot to do that. So we'll sh shut this back down. As you can see, we've got the easy open slide door. And here, says she, <laughs> Wendy's got a Vida, but I clearly haven't. You'll see that you've got where the diesel goes and also where the Ad Blue goes. So inside, it's a very coordinated VW. We've got the superb grey cupboards and the furnishings, which suit the outside. And on the leatherette, it's even got the stitch to bring the colours from the outside. So it's very, very... Um, coordinated so as we come into the vw here you'll see that we've got this control this control here is your diesel heating so you can control the speed of the fan and the temperature and we've got the light switches here so sorry wendy yeah, <laughs> the lights are on here and we've also got this mood lighting and we've got a charging point as well for your mobile phone we've got a usb here or two. Two main sockets, but it's always important to remember your main sockets are only going to work when you're plugged into the main, so they won't work if you sort of like rock up on a, a lay-by and want a cup of tea, you'd need to do that on the gas. Um, and the USBs are perfect for charging. So inside here we've got two gas rings and we've got the kitchen sink. Now the sink only has cold water. You don't get hot water in one of our VWs, or not in the Camper King range with us anyway. We've got storage here. So as you can look inside there, we have storage and two great cupboards beneath. The table when traveling sits lovely on the back seats if you've not got passengers or just behind if you have. And the fridge is a fridge that works purely on the battery. So. One of my colleagues, he always says, it's a posh cool box, Claire, um, <laughs> is very right with that. As we look to the front here, sorry, I've missed the boom arm table. This is brilliant and you can use it by putting that into there and you've got the table outside. So if you want to put your pims out, it's no issue at all. So it's an automatic gearbox. It's got cab air con, volume controls on your steering wheel. It's got the speed restrictor. So if you are on a motorway and there is a speed there, you can actually restrict it so you don't go over it. Um, electric windows and electric mirrors. As we look up here, you can see this is the bed area. Now this is gonna be quite tricky um, because we need to show you the bed area. At the top here, underneath that strip, 
that's a ventilation so you can pull that off there's a mosquito net so if you're up sleeping at the top you know that you can get a little bit of air in on a hotter day the windows unzip like so so you can get nice daylight in and this is what i love about the camper king it's the three plastic windows that just draw the light in um, the roof pops up really really easily um, when you get on site you just unstrap it push it up and that's how easy it is um, i'm going to pull the bed down um, and wendy's going to come and show you the bed space so i'm going to duck out of the way <laughs> wendy's going to show you up there so you can see what great sleeping area that you've got I think Don needs to put us all on diets so we can actually get there and show it you. Okay. So, if you would like to come over to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and see one of our great sales team, we're all happy to demonstrate this further for you, show you how the bed works. So come and have a closer look.